The gem state is seeing a population boom. Recent data shows Idaho had the fastest growing population in the nation between 2019 and 2020, but all of those new Idahoans are leading to some growing pains across the state, including in rural areas. One of those smaller cities in Melba, where Idaho News 6's Natasha Williams explains the drastic measures being taken now to slow that growth. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Matt. City officials say the biggest thing they really need is time, and that's why the Melba City Council recently voted to impose a new um, subdivision moratorium, or rather an emergency moratorium on new subdivisions. It's similar to action taken by city leaders in Caldwell earlier this year. Now the move puts a pause on three proposed subdivision projects that would give a huge boost to the town's population. Being kind of hidden has you know, kept people from, I guess, discovering Melba. But again, we, we all saw the future that the growth was going to happen. The city says they decided to put the moratorium in place for a few reasons. First, they say they need more time to understand how Idaho's new property tax bill will impact their budget. We need better understanding of that, you know, so we hate to allow all this growth and then realize that we can't, we're not going to be getting the funds to cover this growth. Plus, a subdivision ordinance is still in the works, but officials are most concerned about making sure the city is ready for the growth these proposed projects would bring. We've seen what's happened to some of these other towns. Some things have been good, some things have not, and we want to make sure it's done right because we only have one shot at this. Our media partners at the Idaho Statesman report there are three proposed subdivision projects. The first would be 18 homes and would be located over on Randolph Avenue. The second would be 32 homes and would be located on Blue Ox Lane. A third proposal would bring 11 homes to Northwest Melba. Although this proposal was denied by planning and zoning, the developer is expected to submit an updated application. The proposed projects plus a 26 house subdivision that's already under construction could add more than 70 new homes to the Melba city. The city says they have room. So we have room for 184 more homes um, to be built in the city limits for water abilities, uh, you know, to be able to meet fire compression and all that stuff. But the additions would mean a population boom, the biggest the city has seen in decades. Melba has a population of nearly 600 people, and that means 260 residential homes. But if these new subdivisions go up, the town's population could nearly double. Our city limits are not that, that big, and there's almost, only so much space we can actually expand and annex in because if you drive through our city limits, just we're surrounded by a lot of, you know, county homes and we, we don't have any control over the county homes. So to put this in context, according to data from the U.S. Census, Melba City in the past 10 years has only seen a growth of about 40 people in terms of population. So this growth would have a huge impact on this town. Okay, that makes sense. And how would that growth impact things like education? Right. So, I mean, the biggest thing to keep in mind is a lot of this growth is still just a few years down the road, right? So right now the district follows what's called an open enrollment model and district officials are still working with city officials to find out what exactly would change if there are any changes at all. So stay tuned. It's still not quite clear how this growth would impact that just yet. Okay, gotcha. Thanks for that. Now, does this mean that Melba, obviously a small city, is going to become a quote bigger city, unquote? Right, so city officials are saying the answer is no. There, there will still be that small town feel. So like I mentioned before, the city limits themselves, they're, they're really not very big and they can only grow so much because they're surrounded by all of these county homes and these farm areas. So in reality, they can only grow so much. So city officials are saying that small town feel will still be there. Okay, and how about the moratorium? You know how long that's gonna last? Yeah, so the moratorium will last up to six months. However, city officials are expecting it to take a little bit less than that just because there is a subdivision ordinance already in the works and they're already working on this property tax um, law now that is going to impact their budget. So they're already working on this. And so it's likely that it'll actually take less time than this six month uh, deadline, if you will. Gotcha. All right, Natasha Williams, thanks so much for that great report.